ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here of Unboxing at Pastiche of Skin. Today, we are doing a loot gaming box. Now, I know, I know I said I was going to stop doing these. I was going to stop doing the loot gaming, the loot DX, the loot create, the loot, all the fucking loot. I was going to stop doing them. But they kept sending me the boxes. I'm not paying for these. So, I'm, am I going to question a gift horse in the mouth? No, I'm going to beat that dead horse with a stick. So instead, we're going to actually go and do a loot gaming box right now. So what do we got on the inside? I have no idea what the theme is. I have not been keeping track. I do not care. What is inside the loot gaming? What is this one? Okay, fragile. But I, obviously, I see what's in the middle of this box right in front of me. Check it out. We're going right onto the wide for the t-shirt. <laughs> Link, he come to town. He come to tame. The Princess Zelda. Also, this shirt is blue and it cannot be on it too. And he's green as well. So, um, the green screen and the blue... <laughs> so you guys are getting the transparent form of Link. You can see my arm through the back. So yeah, it's Breath of the Wild Link. Uh, blue shirt, blue tunic, green pants, uh, helium, oh, shield on his back, bow and arrow. I love the artwork on this one. I actually, I do love the artwork in Breath of the Wild itself. Uh, it's, it, it is well drawn. It is going to age extremely well, which is... Um, a, Bit of a godsend for the Switch so that it actually have a game on its first launch series of games that will not age badly, considering the fact it actually is a Wii U game that has been ported to the Switch, as um, many people have pointed out and noticed in uh, statements about its uh, frame rate and the way it's been running. Now, uh, Breath of the Wild had a contentious thing going on there with uh, people giving it reviews, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, and saying it's one of the, essentially the best things since sliced bread. I am. I can't agree. I can't agree. The, I, I'm. I'm actually on the Jim. I'm on the Jim Sterling side of this argument. Um, I'm on the. Is, the TB say say the same thing about um, weapon damage and weapon uh, erosion or weapon fragility. <laughs> actually, I just realized the box says fragile in the first top part of it. <laughs> weapon fragility. <laughs> that's that's pretty fucking funny. So, um, yeah, in, final, in Breath of the Wild, a lot of the weapons break after, like, a single series of uses until you're playing, like, the later part of the game where they will last much longer against smaller enemies and then it'll break against bigger enemies. But um, that kind of weapon fragility is not my kind of gameplay. It, it drives me around the bend, um, especially whenever it's almost like a survival game you're playing. So big ups for Nintendo for doing an amazing new Zelda game. But it's not the best thing in the world. It has its flaws, and I can understand why people were saying it has its flaws. But people are not quite willing to accept that, which is a bit of a problem. So, um, yeah, the t-shirt is actually very well made. I'm checking, is this another Nintendo branded you know, one? It is, a, it is a proper Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild shirt, so it actually is marked on it as being Legend of Zelda, rather than actually being like a Loot Crate shirt with that on it. So I'm assuming it must have some Nintendo association. I uh, love the grey. I'm happy to actually have something that's not a black t-shirt with character on it, which is uh, the standard loot kit attire, which I'm not, I'm not dissing it, but I'm just saying it's, it's good to have some variety in your closet. Um, I like it whenever they do bright colours, uh, different colours. Bright greens, bright reds. And greens, which I can never wear on this bloody set. Uh, greens, blues, reds. Go for the primary colours. Look good, look vivid, look interesting. And of course, advertise your favourite characters while you're doing so. I like that. So. Kind of hard to really show to you guys because of the green screen, but actually, hang on. If I do it this way, can you see the character a wee bit better? That works a little bit better. Yeah. Well, um, obviously this is this is a fucking huge T-shirt. I'm I'm losing weight at the moment, so um, I'm happy to be wearing this as nightwear. We'll put that to the side and we'll continue on with what's inside the crate. So what is this? Oh well, that's convenient. Warcraft T-shirt, and now. A Warcraft beanie. Um, although, oh, tell me it is, tell me it is, tell me it is, tell me it is. Yes! <laughs> All right, so, yeah, Warcraft beanie, but it has a lion on one, on, the end, on one side, and, of course, horde on the other. <laughs> so, at least I'm not actually going to be, I, I, for the horde, always for the horde. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, bam. Um, oh, God, this is tight. I'm going to get this turned around right. There we go. It's weird to have a beanie that's actually small yet big at the same time that it's actually hanging down my head but doesn't fit the top of my head. Yep. 
Well, there's my forehead tattoo for the day on my piece of clothing that I'm going to wear with it. Uh, what is there to say? It's a beanie. Um, a little late in the season, but considering Irish weather, I will need this to go to work, but it feels, so, it feels like I'm wearing a yarmulke. It's like, seriously, it feels like it's only on top of this part of my head. Uh, okay, <laughs> before I actually say something possibly religiously uh, insensitive, because I don't know that many religions, I will move on from that statement where I said I'm wearing a yarmulke. What is this? Oh, 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 this is so cute. Oh, no. Oh, I don't do plushies. I'm not a big plushie fan. I, I don't do, I, things are adorable. Adorable things are adorable. You do not question that. But I don't do plushies because they become a pain in the hole. They actually get messy. You end up throwing them out. You lose them in some other way, shape, or form. Uh, furries find them and start jerking off all of them. I don't know. So it's, it's all, horrible things happen to plushies in the end up sometimes. But uh, this one is decoy dog. It's a decoy dog. You know what decoy dog is? He's wearing an eye patch. Decoy dog. Decoy dog is wearing an eye patch. It's it's snakes. Snakes puppy. I love him. Uh, the dog from uh, Metal Gear Solid, Ground Zeroes, and uh, Phantom Pain. <laughs> Just in case anybody's completely lost in what I'm talking about here. But yeah, uh, you have a dog, and this is a cuddly, cute little, fluffy, husky version of the dog. Decoy dog, Mrs. and I, and uh, yeah, that's, that's a cute, adorably cute. I'm wondering why he has like a wee tiny yellow speck in the middle of his back, but yeah. I think that's really adorable. I'm not going to take it out of the packet. In fact, I know who this is going to, and you know who you are, so uh, look forward to that. Look forward to the decoy dog. I'm going to keep that furry and fresh so you can actually get a fresh smell of uh, whatever the hell it is they pack these things in. So, moving on to something else in the box. What is this? Pitfall, Pitfall Cantina. It's full of booze you've never seen. Uh, pitfall. Pitfall Cantina. Uh, yeah. It's an odd item, but I I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it's, oh, it's actually, I, I was looking at it and I thought, is it actually plastic all the way around? But it's actually metal rimmed with a, ooh. I don't know if I trust the interior of that. Oh, no, it's plastic sealed. I was wondering, so, and the problem that I have with metal sealed containers is that they, the metal can rust in the inside and then you're actually essentially drinking rust. Is a terrible idea, but there's a metal band around the outside of this for protection, and the interior is actually a plastic uh, bottle. A sea, I'm assuming it is a travel safe, long, perishable bottle, although admittedly made in China. So um, the the quality of um, plastic without having any symbols on it to be able to tell me uh, is not 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 suspect. But I would actually say it's uh, a little bit. A little bit dangerous to actually assume that this is a completely safe PET bottle or whatever it is it needs to be. The right classification, if you will. But um, yeah, the strap's really tiny and short on this. I think this is more of a display thing. It's more of like the fact that you're meant to put it up high in from your shelf. So it's like, oh, I'm a big fan of Pitfall. I have this shit on my wall. But um, still cool. I, I like utilitarian items in these Loot Crate DXs and Loot Gamings and Loot Crates. Utilitarian things are always going to get more interest from me because uh, whenever I'm whenever I'm looking at stuff, I like to find a secondary use for it if I haven't used it already. And this could very well end up being a prop in a future video just because it's a, it's a retro game and it's such a weird, weird thing to actually be having around. I love the fact that it actually works almost as an echo guard as well because I can actually feel the vibrations of my own voice in that, which is a bit weird. Um, that just goes to show how basic I am. But yeah, that is a... Another interesting item. I mean, this Glute Gaming Crate hasn't been overwhelming. It's... Yeah, it's alright. Good t-shirt. Cute plushie. Uh, cheap water bottle, but cool brand, I suppose. I said, yeah, Atari's been <laughs> bottoming out on actual value of items. So we're kind of like getting a little bit ridiculous about what we do with it. So, uh, Loot Crate. What's this? Ooh, okay. Thanks for to support from looters like you. We've been built Loot Crate from a small garage-based company to what it is today. We're celebrating our fifth anniversary this year with a new logo, designed to be like a window into the world, stories and characters we all love. Uniting all our crits under a single brand, we can't wait to build even more great memories with you. We love you, Chris and Matthew, the co-founders of Loot Crate. Fair play. Fair play, Chris and Matthew. Um... I noticed the rebranding, the new logos. Um, obviously, my 
My logo is now vintage. It is founders only. It is retro, one might say. But um, look great. Not too bad. Um, I, I've, five years, man. Five years I've been doing this. And uh, well, I've only been doing these crits for a year. But uh, the company's been going five years and gone strength to strength. Uh, one of the big leaders in subscription boxes uh, for years with the amount of people they've actually been supporting and branding with and making more money from. And I suppose, I mean, yeah, they do a good job. They've, they've, they've put out crits every month. But um, I've been, a, I've, you, if you want to go back and look at the playlist and see what my opinions are, you can just watch me slowly lose my will to do these crit videos. And because uh, I'm not paying for them anymore is the reason why uh, that I'm actually like, oh, you know what, actually, uh, these are all right. <laughs> so, of course, the gaming pin for this month, which is a nautical compass. And uh, you can probably see it up in here somewhere. Can I get it on camera? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see with that camera because it's such a low resolution. But uh, February 2017. So that's how long this crate's been sitting around since the end of February <laughs> or the beginning of March. I don't know, I don't know which way these things actually even came. Um, so... Of course, as usual, they have their Luke Gaming poster, which is very, very badly folded. Well, it's been badly folded because it's actually been sitting for a while, but it's been folded for a long time. And this is the art they did for this month. Ooh. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Man versus bear. It's actually like, look, an eagle! Kick him in the nuts, run off of his fish. That was actually the plan to do. Ooh, okay, so the epic drop this month was an actual Breath of the Wild Nintendo Switch package with the nintendo switch and breath of the wild three three in the giveaway wow okay fair play to them um obviously i didn't win that so <laughs> but uh nice nice enough that you actually sent it so the theme for this month was wild eh, i can get wild wild i suppose um d dog wild breath of the wild uh pitfall in the wild uh the wild coin the nautical coin eh, World of Warcraft Reversal Beanie. There's nothing wild about World of Warcraft, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it, it fits. They, 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 they do kind of like really loosely fit these themes now. So, uh, of course, the Pitfall Canteen, classic Atari title. Pitfall players control Pitfall Harry and must get him through a maze like jungle in an attempt to recover all 32 treasures within 20 minutes. Considered to be an ancestor to the side scrolling platforming genre, despite not being a side scrolling game. The game was highly influential, and this year's marks Pitfall's 35th anniversary. In honor of this jungle journey, we created a metal canteen with a carrying strap that you can take with you on your adventures. Metal Gear Solid V, Phantom Pain Plush D-Dog, set in 1984. Metal Gear Solid 4, The Phantom Pain is an open-world action-adventure stealth game featuring following Phantom Snake as he tries to get his revenge and unravel a plot that threatens the entire English-speaking population. One of his companions on this journey is D-Dog, a cute doggo found by Snake. This plush features D-Dog with his eye patch and comes with a backpack clip so you can keep him company or he can keep you company wherever you go. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear! Oh, hotness, I want to bang you! Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild t-shirt. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is the latest release in the iconic Legend of Zelda franchise, and we knew we had to calibrate this return to beautiful Hyrule. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is an open-world action-adventure game in which an amnesiac Link awakens from a hundred-year slumber and must defeat Calamity Ganon. The tree features the hero of time as he appears in the first HD game in the Legend of Zelda franchise. The first HD game in the Legend of Zelda franchise. So what was Wind Waker HD? Just asking. Just asking. <coughs> the Wild Coin Pin. Your guide through the wild. Celebrate the games that take us on adventures through untamed lands with an uncom with a compass and wild pin. Compass, coin, pin, thing. Put it inside a slot. It'll look like a quarter. World of Warcraft Reversible Beanie. World of Warcraft holds a Guinness World Record for the most popular MMORPG by subscribers. Declare your allegiance to the Alliance or Horde with this reversible World of Warcraft Beanie. World of Warcraft is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game, otherwise known as an MMORPG. Players create and control a character who completes quests in the wilds of Azeroth and Barat beyond. Keep warm during your raids with this comfy cap represent representing the two major political factions in the game. We need to explain what an MMORPG to you, the person who would be spending money on a box called Loot Gaming. Loot Gaming. For people who don't game or know what loot is in terms of an MMO. 
Fair enough. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, the, the, that was the, the, the text in that was mildly insulting, but who cares? <laughs> who gives a flying fuck what some random advertising dude, marketing guy thinks that you think you know? Who cares? But um, yeah, the crit's not bad this month. It's not a right home about. It's, it's not offensively bad. It's not uh, delightfully entertaining. It's not a mad dash to going, oh my God, I would go and recommend you subscribe to this blah, 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 blah. It's a crit. Full of stuff that's re barely related to the fact that they were calling it the wild. The only reason why this crate exists is because of Breath of the Wild being released and they had a Breath of the Wild t-shirt. That's pretty much it. And they got the Breath of the Wild uh, switches to give out. That, that was pretty much all they did. So um, yeah, that was Luke Gaming for this month, for the month of February, done in March on the last day of March. I'm sorry. I don't give a shit about these boxes anymore. That's why I actually put them off. And I hope you're here for the elucidated entertainment of my voice more than actually what's inside the boxes because you can easily find out by just pressing boop. So, um, yeah, if you enjoy me talking about this box, tearing it apart and looking at all the contents and doing it in weird voices or deep manly narration, then make sure to hit the subscribe button that's sitting right over here over the top of my horde face. Uh, or if you go over to this side, you can actually hit uh, many things that are actually in the playlist. So this one's actually a playlist for actual loot crates. Over in the far side over there is actually going to be uh, a recommended video that's recently released here on the channel that might not be this video. And on the bottom right corner is actually uh, other stuff that might be recommended just for you based on your current like views and things that you like on YouTube that's related to my channel. And that's kind of cool. If you guys actually pick on that one, it'll encourage you to see more stuff of mine. And I think it's maybe exactly what you wanted. So um, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next crit. Bye. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry. Uh...